Is it really possible that one day humans might live across the galaxy? I can't answer that question for you, but I can tell you about Starpath Robotics, a company that's working on something that could be pretty useful if humanity implodes and we have to make a dramatic escape through outer space. If humans will ever survive on the moon, we're gonna need water. So far, space missions have relied heavily on whatever supplies they bring from the Earth, but if human life can sustain itself on another planet, you need to use the resources made available to you. The moon doesn't have big lakes of fresh water that we can just scoop up and put into a bottle, but there is ice. Of course, there's a catch. The parts of the moon that could have the most ice are also the most inhospitable because it has to be a place cold enough for ice to even form. That means we have to head to the parts of the moon that never see the sun, which can be as cold as negative 334 degrees Fahrenheit. And to make matters more complicated, this isn't just ice. This is basically frozen moon dirt from which the components of ice can be extracted. So here's where Starpath comes in. The company came out of stealth last September with the plan to use fleets of mining rovers to dig up hundreds of tons of lunar dirt, which it will then bring to its own autonomous processing plants on the moon. Then they separate the molecules into their component atoms, then turn that into liquid oxygen. Liquid oxygen is necessary to make fuel for spacecrafts, meaning that if Starpath can accomplish what it's setting out to do, it'll become just a tiny bit more realistic that we could one day live on Mars or beyond. Another issue for Starpath is, how do you power a refinery on the moon without on-the-ground human oversight? The plan is that another startup called Celestial will design a massive solar array to keep things moving. Starpath just raised $12 million in seed funding led by 8VC Infusion Fund, and it's hoping to grow its team to continue building its tech as quickly as possible. The founder, Saurav Shroff, told TechCrunch, quote, life could be multiplanetary in a very short period of time. If you make 1,000 tons of liquid oxygen on the moon, your path to making a million person city on Mars is hard, but it's now possible. Personally, I'm happy staying here on Earth, where it's a lot easier to get water than it is on the moon.